today. We will review everything about SAT certification and help you answer the question should we choose SAT1 or SAT2. SAT is the standardized assessment which is administered by College Board and is used by most US colleges and universities as the measure for admission. Referring to SAT, almost everyone has heard about it and they thought immediately to the multiple choice test, including the reasoning ability in English and mathematics and analytical writing skill in the essay. But do you know that SAT1 also known as SAT general test? And there's another SAT called SAT2 or SAT subject test? SAT1 tests the ability in reading comprehension, language and math reasoning, as well as writing essay which serve as the optional section without grading. Most colleges and universities in the US require SAT1 for the compulsory admission requirements. SAT1 exam structure consists of three parts. The first is the reading, writing and language section with the total to duration of 100 minutes, in which 65 minutes for reading and 35 minutes for writing and language. The number of questions respectively is 52 questions for reading comprehension and 44 for writing and language with a total score of 200 to 800. Next is the 80 minute math section which is divided into two parts. A calculator math section with 38 questions within 55 minutes and a no calculator math section with 25 questions within 25 minutes. The total number of questions is 58 questions with the total score of 200 to 800. Finally, an optional essay with 15 minutes of writing time. Candidates will have to read through a 650 to 750 word document about an article or a speech and then explain how the author builds the arguments to convince the reader. How about SAT2? This is the test to assess the knowledge in the specific subject that is only required when applying to the top competitive universities such as Harvard, Stanford, Princeton, Yale, Columbia, Brown, MIT, or applying for the scholarship. SAT2 has more than 20 exam subjects, English Literature, American History, World History, Mathematics 1, Mathematics 2, Physics, Chemistry, Biology, Foreign Languages, Chinese, French, German, Modern Spanish, etc. In SAT2, except for language subjects, all other subjects are tested with multiple choice questions. The exam time for each subject is 60 minutes per subject. Unlike SAT1, SAT2 still holds the rule of deducting points for wrong answers and is applied as follows. Questions with three answers, if you answer incorrectly, half point of the question is deducted. Questions with four answers, if you answer incorrectly, one third of the point of the question is deducted. Questions with five answers, if you answer incorrectly, a quarter point of the question is deducted. About when and how to register for the exam, you need to know that SAT is held seven times each year. You can register one month earlier but cannot do that within 11 days before the exam date. An extra fee will be charged if you make it late. This is SAT overview as well as exam details for SAT1 and SAT2. Now, you probably have the answer for the question, should we choose SAT1 or SAT2? However, soon determine the university you want to take the exam, check the related information and admission requirements to choose for yourself the appropriate exam, thereby arrange the preparation plan as soon as possible. You need at least 6 to 12 months to get familiar with the method and practice SAT skills. If you have any idea, leave the comments below to discuss with everyone. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Please like and share to make us have motivation to create more useful videos about the international education. Goodbye and see you in the next video.